Mr. Lieutenant Governor, Mr. Attorney General, members of the House and Senate, honorable guests, honorable pastors, I appreciate all that's been said. I'm a judge. Normally judges don't speak in public about issues like this. But if I should hold back my opinions at such a time as this, I would consider myself guilty of treason toward my country. And an act of disloyalty to the majesty of heaven which I revere above all earthly kings. I came here today, I want to thank you for your attendance. I know it's hot, I'll make my comments short. I came here today from Alabama, and as I was traveling, I was reminded of a guy that came back to Alabama many years ago, or came back to Texas many years ago in 1831. It's a guy whose name is inscribed on this county. Colonel William Barrett Travis from Conecuh County, Alabama, came to draw a line in the sand at the Alamo. He took a stand in the face of an enemy that was far more numerous, but he knew that he had to make a statement for the people of Texas and that he would give his life. I hope I don't give my life, but I'm going to tell you this is a very serious matter. There's today another threat, not only in Texas and Alabama, but across our country. Where state and federal court judges have overruled constitutional amendments passed by the people of that, those states. I bind up a perverse spirit in Jesus. And people have just sat by and watched it out of fear of federal government. But nothing in the Constitution of the United States, nothing in the laws or precedents of the federal courts give federal courts any authority over domestic policy of family and marriage in the state of Texas or the state of Alabama or anywhere else.